Sup guys, it's Jake here. What is going on and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this video series titled Rugby Player Reacts to the Top 100 NFL Players of 2020. We're in the top quarter. I've done 75 videos, but it's no trouble. I love it and I hope you guys do too. In this video we're looking at TJ Watt. Now there's one guy out there, there's one subscriber of mine, I still don't know your name actually. But I know the name TJ Watt, and I know it only because of you. You're the only person that's ever asked me to react to TJ Watt, funnily enough. And to think that he's come in at number 25 on the list of the top 100 NFL players of 2020, I'm actually surprised to the only person who's asked me to do it. Mate, this video is for you. He is the brother of, of, of JJ Watt, and that's pretty much all I know. So with that being said, let's roll the video. TJ Watt, what's the first thing you can do the speed. No! Seems like he's never tired. Seems like he always has an extra load of... Those are the kind of plays that young man has been making all season long. Very he could be a punter. To be honest, I must have looked at him last year, okay? So don't call me out for that. Don't at me, but I can't remember shit about him. The signature part of being a Watt is your hustle. All I know is that he has hustle. He certainly does. <laughs> they never give up on plays. He's a big time tackler. learned a lot from his older brother <laughs> because his brother is just naturally bigger he's using what his brother is teaching him as a smaller player I think that he's learning where to put his hand at when he's physically rushing and not just running at the quarterback he knows that that's our weak point that if you put your hand here that's where you'll have the most impact. Well, that just looked too easy. And bigger. But we did see him training, doing that exact thing so he can do it in the game. Offensive tackle. Oh, TJ dipped under. He is undersized for his position, right? Well, he's a linebacker. But if he's six foot two and around about 105 kg, then I suppose he is probably slightly on the underside. Let's look at his stats. Trent Jordan TJ Watt, born October 11th, 1994 is an American football outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He went in the first round of the 2017 NFL Draft with pick number 30. He's been at the Steelers ever since. He made first team All-Pro selection in 2019. He's made three straight Pro Bowl selections. He must be fucking good. I apologize mate, I should have been looking at TJ Watt earlier. But he is on the defensive side of the ball and I must say that it does take a hell of a lot for me to look up at a defensive player. It really does. He played two years at Wisconsin. Two years. During the 2016 season, he recorded 59 tackles. November 29th, 2016, he was named first team All Big Ten. On January 3rd, 2017, he announced on Twitter that he would forgo his senior season and enter the 2017 draft. So he must have been red shirted. Started his collegiate career as a tight end recruit for the Wisconsin Badgers. His knee was injured in the 2014 season and he was in recovery until the middle of the 2015 season. He did not play a game from October 2012 to September 2015. Can you imagine how fucking frustrating that would have been? Three years and he didn't play a game. In July 2015, he was asked by head coach Paul Chris to switch to a defensive position. Okay, so he's playing tight end. Okay, so now he's on defense. Interesting. Badgers outside linebackers coach Tim Tebasar recalled Watts' position change, saying, at that time, even though he was in his third fall at Wisconsin, it was kind of like having a freshman come in. You're trying to teach him for the first time how to play outside backer in our system. After the fourth game of his junior season, he led the Big Ten Conference in sacks. After his fourth game. Well, that was a good decision by the coach. In the Michigan State game, he was named the Big Ten Player of the Week and was given the Walter Camp National Defensive Player of the Week award. Holy shit. Certainly was the right decision. Let's go. The 6'8", offensive tackle. I didn't look at his fucking height. Six foot four. Sizable. 114 kilograms. He plays mostly over the right tackle and he has this like two hand swipe. Six foot four. He, kind of does to... he looks small against his brother, but against anyone else, he'd pretty much tower over a lot of them. Lower 
covers his shoulder. And when you can kind of change levels as a pass rusher, it's hard for those edge guys to really stay with you and he doesn't. Sorry, what was his speed? 469. Six foot four and a half. 11 inch hands, which are absolutely massive. 37 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 8 on the broad jump, 21 reps on the bench press. This guy is an absolute fucking beast. Does a good job of getting the quarterback that way. TJ White. And he plays with aggression. Got the uppercut. And hustle. A great spin. Not only does he have the genetics, but he has the work rate. And then turn them like a turnstile. A lot of guys in this league are really good rushers, but not a lot of guys finish the way that he finishes, and I think that's just what sets his game apart. So by Russia, he means pass Russia. He ran through Jesse Davis, and as he sacks Ryan Fitzpatrick, he takes the ball away from him. Is that right? Somebody does. This is bread and butter. Basically, man, he's hearing a wide nine technique, and he gets off the ball well right here, and boom. He's the wide the nine ball. technique. Yeah, it's a great move, man. In 2019, TJ Watt tied for the league lead with eight forced fumbles and helped the Steelers lead the league in takeaways. He climbed nearly 70 spots in the countdown, the highest ranking Watt on the top 100. It's fun hmm. to be on the same team, same unit with him. Hmm. Watt on the top. He climbed nearly 70 spots in the countdown, the highest ranking Watt on the top 100. The highest ranking Watt on the top 100. It's fun to be on the same team, same unit with him. You know, just watch the work that he brings, you know, see how the energy that we feed off each other. TJ's a blessing. He's six foot four and he's bringing his leg up that high? That's absolutely ridiculous. He has been fantastic. Let's see what his athletic prowess was back in high school. Because I can guarantee he did some track and field, but it's not going to tell us. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. My mate out there who's always asked for TJ Watt, I really hope you enjoyed that one. In the next one, we're look, going to be looking at the real, the real dog. <sighs> he a dog, honestly. He must be. If he's calling everyone else a dog, he's got to be a dog. In fact, if we hear one of his fellow players call him a dog, I'm going to crack up laughing. His name's Ezekiel Elliott. He's number 24 on the list. He's a running back. I love my running backs. As a rugby player myself, you know, running back as a position, certainly the most fitting, in my opinion, for a rugby player, for, a, for an attacking rugby player, okay? You're going to have to have a little bit of size, you're going to have to have a little bit of speed, and you're going to have to have a little bit of dog about you. And I'm led to believe Ezekiel Elliott has that in spades. So we're about to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, please do. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.